OK, the total eclipse is just moments away. We can uh, go to a live shot there now. I think uh, you can see that that's uh, been happening over the last half hour or so. Uh, 30 minutes or so ago, it was just a tiny sliver as the moon was passing over the face of the sun. And now we're getting to that stage where the uh, moon will completely obscure the sun, at least in uh, far north Queensland around Parv Cove. We've got our uh, resident astron astronom astronomical wonder, Dr Charlie Lineweaver, lined up in Canberra. He's from the Australian National University School of Earth Sciences. Dr. Charlie Lineweaver, are you excited? Oh, <laughs> yes, I'm excited. I'm excited. In fact, uh, we're having a double eclipse right now here in Canberra because we have both the moon and clouds passing in front of the sun. And you've got those glasses passing in front of your eyes. Can, can you see anything? Actually, I cannot, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're missing it all. Uh, okay, so just explain to us exactly what's happening right now. Well, right now, the disc, well, it just so happens that the sun, here's the sun, it's about the same size in the sky as the moon. Here's the moon. That's because the sun is about 400 times bigger than the, the moon, but the moon is 400 times closer, so their size is about the same. So we look at the sun, and now the moon is passing exactly in front of the sun. Right now, it's about here, and it will continue to pass, and then two hours later it will be gone. So the whole process takes about two hours. Now if you're in Cairns, you will see about two minutes in which the moon will completely cover the sun and you'll have totality and then you won't have to use these glasses. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not just people, <laughs> you don't have to put them back on if you don't want, but it's not just people in Cairns itself, it's kind of like it's a 200 kilometre kind of radius around that area, isn't it, from Innisfail to Port Douglas and then inland as well? That's right. Every, every shadow, if you look at a shadow of anything, it will have a main body and then it will also have a core, a very dark shadow. And that core is called the umbra. The outer part is called the penumbra. And the umbra is where you can experience the totality that is so beautiful. The, the partial eclipses are not so spectacular because we're used to having clouds get in the way of the sun and reduce the sun's luminosity. But we are not used, the clouds will never block out 100% or a large fraction of the, the sun. And so that's why totality is so spectacular and it's so interesting to see. Does that make you an umbra file? A, wh a what a file? <laughs> and I can't believe you don't know what it is. It's a lover of shadows. Oh, an umbra file, yes. Uh, actually, Actually, I'm, I'm in deep shadow right now, and uh, I would rather be in light, I think. <laughs> okay, now I've heard that the temperature can drop quite dramatically when this happens. Well, if you walk on a day, on a sunny day, and walk behind, into the shade of a tree, the temperature drops there as well, so the same effect. Yep, and uh, animals go a bit funny? Well, um, <laughs> if it let now, now uh, total eclipses can last, they're short ones, two minutes, longer ones five minutes, the longest ones can last for seven minutes. So I'm not quite sure how long it takes to convince a bird to go to sleep. Maybe it's not, <laughs> maybe it's not five minutes isn't long enough. Yeah. Now, if you're in the Cairns region, you'll be seeing this total eclipse. And I'll just uh, mention to our viewers once again that we've got Charlie Lineweaver in Canberra with his uh, safety glasses on uh, in, in a studio. <laughs> Nowhere near the eclipse. And on the right there, you can see that uh, that's a live shot you can see there from Palm Cove. Those amazing shots there of the uh, moon moving across the face of the sun. We're just about to that stage where there is going to be the total eclipse. The cameraman just pulling out to a wider shot there. That's now a NASA, NASA shot. NASA's got several cameras set up around the uh, North Queensland area to cover this Palm Cove. Seems to be the epicentre of the action. That's about uh, 10 or 15 k's or so north of Cairns. We've uh, got uh, Charlie Lineweaver uh, from the ANU that we're speaking to as this happens. Uh, Charlie Lineweaver, um, you mentioned that the, the temperature can drop a bit um, and <laughs> animals can go a little bit crazy. I've heard the winds pick up as well. Does that happen? Well, possibly a little bit. I mean, anytime you have a temperature gradient, hot spots and cool spots, then you have a flow from the hot to the cool. And I mean, that's what makes weather on Earth. That's what makes the winds blow on Earth. So you could have some very micro weather, I think. But one thing I wanted to point out that is that this shadow moving across the sky, moving across the, the uh, yeah, moving across the Earth, actually, is traveling at about a half a kilometer a second. So that's uh, like 
several times the speed of light, and I'm sorry, speed of sound, and so it started off at, at uh, Darwin, has moved across the Gulf of Carpentaria, is now right near, near uh, Cairns, and then it will move out into the Pacific north of New Zealand and move right across almost all the way across the Pacific and then stop at about Easter Island or so. So it really is a, pa a path of a shadow, a spot on the Earth that's moving quite fast. Okay, it's moving quite fast, but it's quite slow in terms of TV time. <laughs> but we'll, we're going to stay with it. For, we'll get, we'll get, we'll, uh, just we'll, Charlie Line Weaver, oh, actually we're bringing up another live shot of it there now. You can see yes. that it's, uh, get, it's getting quite close there. Yes, it is. In about a minute or so, it'll be totality. Now, just before totality, you will see something called Bailey beads. And that is because the, the moon is not exactly a disk. It has mountains and valleys on it. And when it's covering, the moon is covering the sun almost completely, you can still see light coming through to us through from the sun in through the valleys of the moon. And uh, that's something called Bailey's Beads, and it's interesting, a few seconds just before totality. Wow, and you can hear the cheers of the crowd. We might just try and listen to some of this audio. You can hear the cheers of the crowd there. That pump, pump, that wasn't <laughs> the total eclipse, that was just the camera. But uh, Charlie, what's that, uh, the effect called as well with the total eclipse, and then you can, so you can see the, uh, the ring of the, the sun around it? Yeah, well, if the moon is further away, then it does not block out the total disk of the sun, and that's called an annular, total ecl an annular eclipse. Wow. And right now is totality. I, that's what those screams are about. Wow, and you can see the flares of the sun around the bottom there and around the corner. How's it feeling, Charlie Lineweaver? Yes, that's the corona. That's the part of the sun we cannot see usually. Well, there we go, a total eclipse of the sun right now, and this, this event doesn't happen that often, Charlie Lineweaver. Well, well, it happens about once a year somewhere on Earth, but because the path of totality is so small, it's very rare that it happens in any one place. And if it's not only people in uh, Cairns who can see this happening now, it's uh, people around other parts of Australia can look up as well if you've got the safety glasses and there is, there'll be a t like partial eclipse in other areas of Australia. Well, there are alternatives to safety glasses. One is to get into some mottled shade. If, you're, if the sun is shining and you have some leaves in the foliage above you, you see little circles on the pavement, and those little circles are the sun, and you should see the moon taking a bite out of the sun. So you'll see, like, look like the actually half moon or a quarter moon. Yeah, and uh, the old pinhole projector too. You would have made a few. <laughs> you would have made a few pinhole projectors in your day. Yes, as a matter of fact, the simplest pinhole camera is to just get your fingers like this and make a small hole, and then hold it up, and then see the image of the sun through on the pavement below. Wow, so that just if you join us, these are live shots you can see. Uh, day has become night. The, sh the shots are falling in and out because the, the links aren't that stable at the moment there to can in Cairns right now. But yeah, day has become night in Cairns as the moon moves across the path of the sun. And uh, Charlie Line, we've just explained to us once again about the size. It's, uh, it's four, the moon is 400 times smaller than the sun. Yes, the moon is 400 times smaller, but it's 400 times closer. And therefore, in the sky, they appear about the same size. However, sometimes the moon is closer to the Earth, in which case the moon's disk looks bigger. And sometimes the Earth is closer to the sun, in which the sun looks bigger. So the various sizes of these objects go up and down. And when the moon is big, that's when it can cover the whole sun. Wow, and we can just see the other side of the sun breaking out uh, with that sparkle across the other side of the moon, and we can hear the people cheering there. It, it seems to, uh, that, to be the case that it only lasted for about the two minutes or so. The uh, timing was spot on between uh, 6.39 and 7.40. Uh, Charlie Lineweaver, this is uh, one of the most uh, wondrous astronomical events we can see with the naked eye. It is a wonderful, important thing. And you can imagine if you were 2,000 years ago and a sun worshiper, you might think that uh, this was the end of your religion or something, or the king was going to die. And in fact, a lot of crazy things have happened during solar eclipses. Yeah, you can see the uh, people gathered there on uh, the beach of uh, Palm Cove, just to the north of Cairns. There was a lot of concern that maybe the cloud was going to obscure that event today, but uh, they have uh, been very lucky to see this uh, total eclipse of the sun. And it, se it seems to be the case, uh, we got one shot there briefly of just, just how dark it was when this happened.
Uh, and Charlie Lineweaver, the, uh, just explain to us how a special event this is, special this event is for astronomers. Well, for astron well, actually, I want to tell you one story is that there's a, a few iconoclastic physicists who think that there's some type of gravitational anomaly associated with to total eclipses of the sun. But for normal physicists, uh, we don't think that that's the case. But what you can do is measure the corona. Some people who study the sun love to look at the, trying to understand the magnetic field on the sun. But to do that, it's important that you block out the main light from the sun so you can just see these magnetic field lines in the corona, which is millions of degrees. And it's a very important feature of the sun because that's how the sun gets rid of a lot of its heat. And uh, some people chase these around the globe. I'm sure you're uh, friends with a few of them. Well, I have quite a few friends. Matter of fact, uh, yes, quite a few colleagues who are up in Cairns right now, having just seen a two, little over two minutes of a total eclipse of the sun. I can't That's believe you're not there yourself. Can't the uh, what? What's <laughs> why are you stuck in a studio in Canberra? <laughs> well, it, how far is it to Cairns? About 500 kilometers. Uh, 100, Five, 1, about 1, 2,000, I think. <laughs> two thousand kilometers. Well, I, I just got back from the U.S. and I didn't, hadn't planned and uh, ABC TV asked me to be here. So I said, well, it's either one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> well, well uh, we're very happy uh, you've been with us uh, to talk us through this uh, wondrous event with this, uh, the moon passing across the face of the sun, uh, this uh, solar eclipse. Uh, thanks so much for being with us, uh, Charlie Lineweaver in Canberra. And thanks for wearing those safety glasses. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Cheers.